What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Michael and welcome back to Fudge Muppet. Today I'm showing you a guide for Skyrim Special Edition in which you'll find out how to get an ebony bow and an ebony two-handed weapon, either a greatsword, battle axe or warhammer at level 1. Remember to subscribe to get more Special Edition guides and content if you're interested in making the strongest and coolest characters possible. So this isn't a cheat or anything like that, and obviously as the video title suggests, we've tested this out for Skyrim Special Edition and it currently works. So to get these ebony weapons, you actually have to go kill some relatively strong enemies at a certain location. Enemies in Skyrim scale with your level, so you can't usually do things like this, and you can't get ebony gear so early, but this place is the exception. Ebony Metal produces some of the most powerful gear in the game, only Daedric and Dragonbone gear is better. So from a level 1 perspective, you'll want to stock up on all the health potions you can, and also have a nice amount of iron arrows, even if you're not an archery character. You can get enough iron arrows just by taking them from dead bodies on your way out from Helgen. Just don't use them until you get to the location. We also recommend armoring up with whatever gear you can find, and also definitely bring a shield and a melee weapon. If you're a Khajiit, you can just use a shield and one of your claws, like we did. So head to the city of Whiterun, and then take this carriage out the front to Morthul. It will cost you a small amount of gold. Once you've arrived in Morthul, you want to head southwest to a location known as Lost Valkyg. Head to this location, and on your way, you'll want to turn your difficulty onto Novice. This will make the tougher enemies a lot easier so you can get the weapons. If you want to make things hard for yourself, that's your call, but we recommend using Novice for this, even if you're going to play the rest of the game on Adept or Master difficulty. Once you get there, don't bother with the Frost Trolls, they'll probably kill you. Run past them and go to this door. Save outside the door. The reason you want to save is because there's a chance you won't end up finding the ebony weapons inside. It's a tiny chance, but it's still worth saving. Once you get inside, you'll almost always eventually come across a Draga Deathlord carrying an ebony bow, but the other Deathlord has a randomized ebony two-handed weapon. Because of this, if you want a battle axe, a greatsword, or a warhammer specifically, you'll have to keep loading to your save outside of the ruins until you get what you want. So what you'll need to do is head on inside and follow the path on screen. The ruin is filled with plenty of Draga, but on level 1 with novice difficulty turned on, you should be able to defeat them. You'll want to make additional saves inside if you find it tough, just don't override the safety save you made outside. So after you've fought through the Draga, you're going to end up fighting this Draga Deathlord who uses an ebony bow and ebony arrows. You must be very careful not to be hit, as if you do get hit, you will likely die instantly on level 1, even on novice difficulty. So the best way to fight this first death lord is to sneak up on him and get a stealth attack. There's a good chance you won't be able to do this, but we still recommend using stealth to get up to him if you can. You really want to close the distance between the two of you, because you'll be useless from a range. Once you get up to him, start attacking him, and if he decides to use his bow at close range, you'll want to shield bash him to stagger him. This is what we've done in the video. There's a chance he puts his bow away and switches to a much weaker melee weapon, and hopefully he will do this when you try. In this case, simply bash to stagger and attack him as planned anyway. Staggering them is also useful because they use dragon shouts a lot, such as unrelenting force and disarm. After defeating this death lord, you'll be able to take his ebony bow and ebony arrows. Take them and head down this hole and fall down onto the wooden beams so you don't take falling damage. After you get to the bottom, you'll encounter the next death lord. This one has the ebony two handed weapon. To defeat him, we recommend jumping on this rock with the chest on it so he won't be able to reach you. However, you have an ebony bow with ebony arrows, so you'll be able to shoot him with these until he dies. The reason I told you to bring iron arrows is for when you run out of ebony ones. This death lord uses the disarm dragon shout a lot, so what we recommend doing is favoriting your bow and just as he uses the shout, unequip your bow so you're not carrying anything and then after the shout has passed, re-equip it. This will save you from endangering yourself by leaving the elevated rock in order to retrieve your disarmed weapon. So after you've picked away at this death lord until he is dead, you'll want to go over and take his ebony two-handed weapon. Hopefully you get the one you wanted, or maybe you just wanted the bow and you can take the two-handed weapon to sell. And that's about it guys, now you've got ebony weapons on level 1. To be honest, you'll probably be level 2 or 3 by the time you get out of Helgen and make your way here, but we tested this with a level 1 character by using unarmed so we didn't actually level up, just to be sure. You'll definitely want to subscribe if you want more videos just like this, and if you found our guide useful, please leave a like and a comment below. We really, really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again in our next Skyrim Special Edition Guide.